Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So in this video, we will get started with inheritance in Kotlin. So basically the concept behind inheritance is you can have a class called animal and then you can create a another class which is also a animal. So dog is animal, but as you can see, dog is a very specific type of animal. In the same fashion, you can have a class called cat, which is also a animal and a tiger which is also a animal and coming to the dog itself you can have a specific breed of dog in this case a german shepherd so here what we are basically looking at is hierarchy of classes and it is up to you how you want to decide this particular hierarchy this is the one kind of hierarchy that you are looking at or you could have a completely different kind of hierarchy and in the same way, you probably want to have a little bit more granularity when you create this hierarchy of the classes. So it is completely up to you as a developer or as per the project requirements, how you want this hierarchy of the classes to look like. So in this hierarchy, whatever the class that is at the top is basically called as parent class or base class or super class people use these different nomenclatures but at the end of the day they are one and the same and the class that is just below the super class is called as a child class or a derived class and in this class hierarchy you basically have super class and subclass or a parent class or a child class kind of hierarchy and depending upon where you are looking at the hierarchy the super class and the subclass position may actually change. So at the end of the day, a German shepherd is a animal, but in this case, the animal is the most super class. The whole idea behind having this class, subclass, super class relationship is as you move from the top class to the classes that are in the down below in the hierarchy, you are getting to a more specific class behavior. So you are basically achieving a specialization. Instead of coming from top to bottom, if you are moving from the bottom of the hierarchy towards the top of the hierarchy, then you are basically creating a more general behavior in the classes. And that is why this is called as generalization. And this is a very basic funda behind how inheritance works in any object oriented programming language. So now we will create few classes with this inheritance hierarchy from the Kotlin perspective. So let's get into a demo. So let me create a class called as animal and let me create a class called wild animal. Now you want this wild animal to be a subclass of animal uh, to do that you have to extend animal and in Kotlin you use this colon to indicate that it is extending animal class or extending a super class. In this case animal is the super class. So let me write animal and as you can see here this immediately suggests there is error. The error is the constructor of animal should be invoked when you extend this particular class. So in this case, the constructor would be a default constructor without any parameter. So this should fix it, but I am still getting an error. And if you see what is the error, it says that the animal is a final type. So in Kotlin, any class by default is a seed class. That means it is not open for inheritance. If you want this particular animal class to be eligible for inheritance, you have to declare it as open class. Then only you can see that whatever the earlier error that existed, it finally vanished. So in the same way, let me create a, another class called as domestic animal and this also extends animal. So this is perfectly fine. And in the same way, I can create a class called tiger, which extends wild animal. And once again, you can see that the problem is wild animal by default is not eligible for inheritance because it has not been declared as open. So once again, we will have to basically declare both of these classes that is domestic animal and wild animal as open classes so that they can be inherited. So let me create a class called say dog extends domestic animal and class 
cat extends domestic animal now with this what we can do is we can write say val animal equals to animal we can do this or also we can write dog or we can declare this animal variable to be of type animal but initialize it with a dog so this is the beauty of inheritance since a dog is a animal we can assign a dog to a animal type variable right now you may not be able to appreciate the beauty of this line but in a moment we will add a few more lines of code to actually see how this works so what we will do is since our class can have method we can basically write a function here so function make sound and let me write a printlen statement um, make generic sound and now what i can write is animal dot make sound and let's see what happens when i run this it is giving me response as make generic sound so how did the dog object was able to invoke make sound so basically what happens is all the classes that are the subclasses of animal will basically inherit make sound method and that is why even if you say make a cat here and just run this you will still see the output as make generic sound but this doesn't make sense probably what we want to do is in the animal class we can make a generic sound but in the cat probably cat purrs and dog barks and tiger roars this is what the actual result that we want so what we can do is we can give a specialized implementation of the make sound this is called as overriding so what you are doing is you are giving specialized functionality to a already existing functionality so how to override once again you write override keyword and then fun but when i write make the auto suggestion won't come because this particular functionality is not open to overriding unless you declare it with the keyword open so now when i write make sound you can see that now i am able to successfully overwrite that particular functionality and here what i will do is i will replace it with make roaring sound and i can pretty much do the same with dog but in case of dog it would be a barking sound and in case of a cat it would be a purring sound and now when i run this since the object is of type cat it will execute make purring sound so instead of this if i make it tiger and run this it will give me make roaring sound what if i do domestic animal in the domestic animal i have not yet overridden the functionality of make sound so that is why once again it will inherit the default functionality which is available in the animal so that is make generic sound this doesn't sound right so what we will do is once again we will override it here and in the domestic animal we make say probably domestic animal sound and then here make wild animal sound and when i run this now you can see that it gives me make domestic animal sound because this is a domestic animal can i write say domestic animal and say dog and run this yes and what would be the result make barking sound so once again you won't see make domestic animal sound you will see very specific behavior decided by the object with which you are initializing it can i write tiger this will give me a compilation error because tiger is not a domestic animal but can i write a wild animal of course you can write a wild animal because tiger is a wild animal and with this if you run you will see a roaring sound and instead of this if i write animal it would still work perfectly fine so what we just saw is inheritance of the classes and what it means to override the functionality in the subclasses but this still doesn't completely make sense for example probably at this moment when you are creating this animal class wild animal and domestic animal you are still being forced to provide the functionality of make sound ideally speaking at this level probably you are not even clear what exactly the kind of sound an animal should make or a wild animal should be so is there a better way of 
representing this dilemma we will have a look at that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye